Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this part of the program is unscripted. Uh, I stand before you as the son of Eric Harris. In 1938, Eric Harris was a student at the Institute of Chemistry in Vienna. He was doing work on the synthesis of the heavy hydrogen atom. In 1938, the Anschluss occurred. He was expelled from the Institute. He was consigned to shining the boots of Nazi officers. He never forgave Austria. And therefore, for me, it's both difficult but important to stand before you and to tell you something about what you just heard. I wish my father were still alive to have heard this speech. So I speak as his son. You heard something historic today. For 46 years after the Second World War, as the Chancellor said, Austria avoided responsibility for the crimes of the Shoah. It was Franz Frenitsky, who in 1991, before the Austrian parliament, said to the Austrian people, in the name of the government, we must accept our historic responsibility to the Jewish people. But he did not say to Israel. And it was always my belief that there was a second piece to the discussion. Germany, after the war, understood that its historic responsibility was both to the Jewish people and to the Jewish state, and it became part of the German Staatsraison, the national interest of Germany from Adenauer to Merkel. For the first time since 1945, you have heard a German, an Austrian chancellor publicly say, we accept our historic responsibility to the state of Israel and its security, and that this is a matter of Staatsraison for Austria. History has just been made here at the AJC Global Forum, and I would like And not just in the name of AJC, but if I may, in the name of the late Eric Albert Harris, born Eric Albert Löwe, I would like to thank Chancellor Kurtz for his courage and his conviction. Within months, he changed 75 years of history, and we were privileged to witness what just happened. Thank you, Chancellor Kurtz. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.